guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm trying something different today. I have been obsessed with acrylic pour videos and I thought I would try it. So I went and got some stuff and I'm going to try my, my first acrylic pour. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. Never tried this before, but these paintings are so beautiful and you never know what you're going to get. So, I thought I would share this with you. I just came across this, and maybe some of you have never seen this before, and if I can get the hang of this, I'm going to try to add a little country twist to it. But, you need a pouring medium. A lot of people use Floetrol, which I guess you can get at um, Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, I was by Hobby Lobby, and... I'm just using a deco art pouring medium. It's kind of pricey. I did use my 40% off coupon. Um, I would probably suggest using Floetrol. Maybe next time I'll go get some once I run out of that. And I am just going to use the um, deco art paints that you can get at Dollar Tree. I didn't want to invest a lot of money into this until I know if I like it or I get the hang of it or if it even turns out. There's a lot of aspects that go into this. If you want to see how to mix your paint, there are so many videos on YouTube. Different suggestions. You can use a medium. You can use glue. Um, you use a little bit of water. So this is all about consistency, technique. So who knows how my first one's going to try or how it's going to come out. but. I've already pre-mixed some paint a couple days ago because one of the videos I was watching by Media Mixed Girl, she's amazing, check out her videos. She said there it's good if you um, have the paint sit for a little while. So it's actually been sitting 48 hours. So I mixed up some white and I mixed up some black and then I mixed purple, light blue, yellow, and red. I might not use all of these colors right now, but I mixed them up to try different things. I'm going to do two acrylic pours. The first acrylic pour I'm going to do is from just on a Dollar Tree canvas. Um, like I said, just trying it. Don't want to invest a lot of money right now um, until I know if I can even do this. And then I'm going to do another one using a vase and a canvas. So there'll be two acrylic pours in this video. So this is called a dirty pour. And you take a cup and you add the paint in one cup. It's also going to be a flip pour because I'm going to flip it onto the canvas and I'll show you that. So you just take a little bit. I'm going to do a little bit of white. and some black. I also got these containers from Dollar Tree. Now, since this is my first time, like I said, a lot goes into, there's a technique, and I'm not quite sure exactly how much paint I'm gonna need for this size canvas. Um, so, and if my paint is too thin or too thick, that also can play a part in what happens next. So we will see. We'll add some yellow, add a little bit more white. And I'm just eyeballing this. Like I said, um, not a professional. I've just been watching videos just like you guys do. I can tell you right now inside the cup, it looks phenomenal. Add some more blue. And the biggest thing is if I have enough paint in my cup when I go to flip it. Let's put a little bit more black. It's not a very big canvas, so I'm not thinking I need. Can you see? Look at how cool that looks. And I can't tip this, but where my finger is. So I'm not, that's the problem right now is I don't know how much. I guess it's better 
if you have too much, then not enough because you want it to be able to cover. All right, we're going to try that right now. So what you do, take your cup, take your canvas, and give it a quick flip. Now you want your canvas to also be level. And I tested it out and it seemed pretty level for the most part. Um, we will see again, first time. I'm gonna let that cup sit just for a minute. Now you gently pick up your cup. Oh my goodness. I actually, from the videos that I've watched, it actually looks like I have enough paint on my canvas, which makes me happy. That was one of my biggest. Wow, that is amazing. Amazing. Okay, see these little circles? These are called cells. And cells form. And you can actually use, I don't have one, you can use like a torch. And it heats it up, it gets out the air bubbles. And it can make it even more cells form. Or you can use a heat gun. Don't They say don't use a hair dryer because it pushes the paint. But these colors are gorgeous. So again, I'm learning, you know, from YouTube, just like you guys are. So we're gonna just let this sit for a second. Um, a lot of the videos I saw say if you just let it sit, let that paint rest for, a, you know, a minute, then you get a better outcome. So let's just let, right now, that is very, very cool. Very cool. Okay, so I've let it sit. Now let's try tipping. This is where you get the awesome effect. So we're just gonna bring it over. I think my paint might be just a little bit too runny and that's just a learning curve. And you just wanna gently tilt without making it muddy. Muddy is when all your paints are kind of just making all one color. And you actually want to tilt it so it runs off your canvas. So let's get some of this going back that way. Look at those colors. Let's get some of this black off. It has a lot of black. Let it settle. And then we're going to tilt to the corner. Wow, this is so much fun. And there's so many different techniques, different ways that you can do it. I'm gonna get these corners. You can take some of the paint and just get your corner. Sometimes the corners don't get um, enough paint on them. So we're just gonna help it. And you want the edges to have paint. You know, my first time, first time, so of course I'm not doing it, you know, perfect, but let's get this corner going. Wow. Wow. Look at that. 
And if you wanted more, you know, green or purple in an area, just keep till 10. Now I did use, a, a, this is a cabinet shelf from Dollar Tree. And of course this is just a baking tin from Dollar Tree. So I didn't invest a lot of money to try this. The paints were from Dollar Tree. The medium was the most expensive thing. The medium was $19.99 with my 40, and then I used my 40% off coupon. So that was a little bit expensive, but it was something I really wanted to try. The videos that I've watched, Flow Trawl's a lot cheaper, but this is cool. It's so cool. Like, I'm so excited about this. And I actually got a little cells. I wish I had like a butane torch that they use because then the cells would really pop. But we're gonna let this sit. I actually could have used a little bit more paint um, because there should be paint dripping off right now, but that's okay. It's actually level. I'm not getting any more drips on one side than the other. I didn't waste a lot of paint and this came out pretty cool. So we're gonna set this aside. We're gonna go to our next project. Vase and then do the canvas also. So you, since I'm putting a vase on here, I'm putting one of these little bitty canvases inside the bigger one just for stability for when the vase is on it. So I'm gonna put that down. I'm gonna put my big canvas on top. And then I got this vase from the Dollar Tree. It's just your standard Dollar Tree vase. So I'm gonna put a cup down so that the vase will stand on top of it. And I'm gonna make this one with, um, let's see. I think we're gonna use yellow, blue, red, purple, and then the black and white. So again, here, let me move this out of the way to show you the colors. So let's add some white and some purple and I'm gonna use a little bit more paint this time just because I almost didn't use enough last time put some yellow some blue next time I'm definitely gonna make my paint thicker I think my paints just a little too thin I'm gonna use some of this pretty this is actually red but it's kind of showing up pink and then we'll pour some black and some more white. We're gonna need more paint for this one because it's gotta cover two things. So I'm gonna go a little bit higher in the cup and I can definitely tell my paint's too thin. So definitely gonna do thicker next time, but it's, you know, Learn and experience, learn as we go. I'm normally um, like DIY, country, farmhouse, you know, and definitely that's more whites, grays, black. So I'm definitely gonna try this, doing it with those colors also, and maybe putting sayings on them, you know, something to make it country. <laughs> Add a twine bow, <laughs> you know. You can make this country, but these are so much fun to make. Like, I'm having a ball right now. Who doesn't have a ball putting all these colors in one cup? You can tell kinda how cool your design's gonna be by how cool the inside of your cup starts looking. So this is going to be my for my son's girlfriend. She picked out these colors. I think that's enough paint. It's probably halfway. We will see. So let me set this aside. And I put the vase on top of one of these. I can tell you exactly what. Just to hold it so that the paint will drip off and onto the canvas. Because we're going to do two acrylic pours in one. The vase and we're going to utilize the paint that falls onto the canvas. And I got these cups from, they're nine fluid ounces. I got them from the Dollar Tree. So they're, um, it's perfect for 
holding this vase in place and it's also so there's about four and a half ounces in my cup now I was watching the video she called it the tea pouring method because it makes swirls like a tree trunk I'm not sure if I'll be able to to do that we will try I'm pretty level still so that's good so we're just gonna kind of a swirly motion while I'm pouring okay so let's see what happens got to get it around the sides you want it running down so let's make sure we have enough paint going around and then we'll just start making swirls in the center you want to be careful that you're not like mixing the paint in the cup as you're swirling it don't want that to happen I might have put too much black. It's certainly dark. There we go. Now the white is coming through. Let's see. Let's see what happens there. I don't know if I'll have a good canvas because I used way too much paint. And that's just because, you know, my first time. It also isn't covering in some areas, so I'm hoping it will come down. This is looking amazing. I'm not so sure about the canvas. The canvas got muddy. I think I put too much black in there. But, oh my goodness, this vase is gorgeous. And I'll do a close-up on it. I'm going to move the vase over right now. And we're going to try that canvas. Try to flip this canvas and see what happens. I'm gonna add a little bit of the color I have left in here, um, just cause it is a little, getting a little muddy. And I like the colors that I still got. Okay, so let's try to see what we can come up with. I forgot that guy was under there. That's okay. Oh, I'm really liking that design. Let's try to keep this in the middle. Get the corners like I said sometimes that paint doesn't like to but I'm loving that design in the middle so let's try to get this corner get this It's all about just tilting, 
till you get the desired look that you want and you can come back and keep moving it around get some of this paint that's gone under the canvas just so it doesn't stick you know too bad to the tray And that is pretty darn cool. These are so amazing. I am just loving this right now. So these need to dry and then you just spray an acrylic coating on them. I got this by Treehouse Studio. I got it at Hobby Lobby. It's a clear acrylic. So I'm gonna let these dry and then I'm gonna spray them and then I will come back and I will show you how they look once they are dry. So these aren't dry yet. I'm just showing you how I'm drying them. I would flipped over some of those um, nine ounce cups that I gotten from the Dollar Tree and I just have them sitting on my table in the corner to dry. It takes about 24 to 48 hours for them to fully dry and so I'm just going to let them sit there and dry and they're looking gorgeous though. It's vibrant colors for being Dollar Tree paint which goes to show you don't have to spend a lot of money to try something new. Now this is after I've sprayed it with the acrylic. This is the canvas that I did with the vase on it and then used the paint drippings from the vase. And this is the vase. Look at that. It almost looks like a ceramic vase. It's gorgeous. I love the lines. I love the color. I did spray this with the acrylic sealant and it just makes it pop and shine and it's beautiful. This is my very first one and it almost looks like galaxy. It looks like outer space, but my son is loving this and he's already claimed it. He said he wants to put it in his room. He wants my first one. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel and I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day.